All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got another video for you guys. This one is a continuation of the Easter tournament. Yes, it has been a long time that this tournament has been played. I think in like the beginning of um, of April. Uh, so, but there was just a lot of matches that were played. I'm trying to get them out to you guys as soon as possible, but I am having a little bit of a backlog, but um, nobody really cares. But anyway, um, let me just continue this um, and this guy, I'm going to give you guys a Fargo rating if there is anything available for my opponent here. But in terms of level and the classes that we play, I believe he is two or three classes above me um but so in on paper in paper on paper he should be able to beat me with his eyes closed but we will see that if that is going to be the case now my opponent is ragging because i won the leg and during this particular tournament it is alternate break so it does not really matter who is going to start um so I am going to open up now. I'm checking here the rack because in this previous table that was a little bit difficult to rack when when I played here, but um, it's it's all good. Um, here we go, breaking from the side, my normal break. So I'm going to pull back the white all the way in the kitchen. In my opinion, that gives me the best outcome. Um, and you can see that that cue ball is not being um, hit or caromed or you know nudged by another ball. Now here I actually went for this um, one ball in the corner pocket. I did not manage to do that, so giving my opponent a very thin cut. And he went for the nine here, by the way, because um, we were talking after the match, and he's definitely said like, "Hey, um, I went for that nine ball, and it's kind of weird that it go that." like that now i did the same thing i made a one nine combination um that was the best choice at that particular moment so that's what i did so my opponent does not see the two ball he tries his safety obviously is a little bit frustrated you can see him knocking on the table over there that cube that uh two ball came out to very very high on that uh table so he did not manage to make like a safety so the two ball is gone the three ball is near the pocket is also gone the four ball is near the vicinity over that center pocket now i am going to see the six regardless so it's not a very tough ball but position is you guys are going to see later on why this was a little bit of a mistake here the eight nine as you can see i went way too fast on that um cue ball over there overshot my position by a mile and then i hit the uh cushion over there very bad uh mistake that i did regardless my opponent on the table oh he don't tell me he made that okay because <laughs> i already i already had a uh, another opponent another match where my opponent actually did this kind of the same thing and he made the nine ball kind of like a fluke so here we go again um white is going to the kitchen over there now i didn't manage to hit the white uh as i wanted it to go so uh, here i kind of got lucky a little bit on the one so my opponent is kicking very good very tough kick that he did um he's not he's not seeing the two balls so he needs to make another kick shot at this time a true railer let's see what he gives me so he gives me a either a carom on the nine i don't think that goes or a very thin cut towards that corner pocket that one went in very good now i'm trying to get position between the four and the seven to make life easier that happens very good let's see do i pull back i do just a little bit now i want to tell you guys something about this particular table so this table is not often being used because as you guys see in the um 
if the if you if you look at the table all the way where I was or where we break, that's usually the entrance. So not a lot of people, not a lot of people want to use this table because you get like you know um, a lot of people coming in and out, so you can't really concentrate. So this table is not being used. So the cloth here is close to perfect, close to new because like I said, it's not being used a lot. That also means that all of the all of the balls and stuff like that it you can see somebody just leaving you can see another guy just leaving right there so uh, that's the entrance and a lot of people come in and out so that's why this particular table is not being used a lot but um, in terms of condition the condition for this table is absolutely beautiful <laughs> I just I just wanted to put that in there because my opponent is very animated. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I apologize for making for making that little bit. Uh, here I tried to do a safety, but you can see on or at least through my reaction right here that I made the eight ball somehow. That was just that was just a fluke. I was trying to hook him up, so he couldn't see anything with uh, in terms of the eight ball. But the eight ball went in. What does he do? Oh, it does not make that nine ball. All right, so it is uh, three one for me here. Um, do I make this? So that's four. That's four one for me now. Again, opening the same way. Now this is my perfect break when the cue ball hits that middle. Um, the middle diamond of that cushion gives me the perfect position on the one. Look at that. There's just that is just a stop shot right there. Um, so I want to say that my break is not perfect, definitely not. And there are other ways uh, much better to break. But I found out this is kind of working for me at this particular time. Later, I might switch to something else, but now it is working like this. Now here I overshot position um, a little bit. I'm stretched out on that table. I tried to go through the cue ball, but I just didn't. The tip positioning wasn't there available. Now, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> Lots of animation right there on that, on this table, because it is kind of like a center court. You can see it's kind of to the left we have the tables, we have, to the right we have tables, and everybody is kind of like looking at this table. So it's, it's kind of funny to play on this table. Here we go, the opponent puts his name on the scoreboard, so that's 4-1. He does this break where uh, the cue ball is traveling a lot. Um... I don't know if it was intentional or he is a little bit like, you know, fired up uh, because he's behind 4-1 and I believe it is race to five. Uh, at this particular moment, he's making the, um, he tried to do like a safety, but it didn't. So I'm putting the one ball into that side pocket, the two ball with lots of spin. I wanted to be a little bit more on the center table. I wanted to go around the six, not in front of it. But I managed to make that uh, three ball give me a little bit like very, very small area where I could have position and I kind of managed to get there. So the five is near the rail over here. Not that big deal, but look at what I do. Sometimes I get like weird stuff that is happening on my my cue ball and this was definitely one of them because the five to six is just you know routine that shouldn't be a lot of issues a lot of problems but I somehow managed to miss my, uh, my miss my tip position on the cue ball that's why I had a tough time with the six now here I try a, a safety not a difficult safety, you can basically use like a two railer. Um, and ooh, ooh. he, yeah, that usually happens with a two railer because especially if, you, if you're hitting it from behind the ball, the ball gets like the uh, side spin. So here is the eight going to the nine over there, kind of like, you know, 
not just a routine ball so i don't know what was going on here i believe it was raised to five so i don't know why we're continuing um maybe we missed the score somewhere or maybe it was raised to five i really have no idea um sorry raised to six i really have no idea what's going on over there but we're continuing um it is five one right here i overshot my position just a little bit so if i go forwards here i'm gonna hit the six so i kind of get Give like a little bit more um, side uh, to the cue ball so it kind of curves a little bit so being the five to the six also missed a little bit of position should have been more to the rail now right here look at what I do wow how the heck do you find a gap in there that is just that is just crazy um, so seven to the eight I should have been more on um, born with my tip position to the left that's why you see me do uh, this there was a very tiny little gap for me to to be there obviously i didn't manage to find that gap so my opponent has the nine basically set up already uh, again routine shot should not be missed by anybody and he doesn't because it goes in cleanly um now here we go, we got 5-2 on the scoreboard, um, now he managed to make the 1, the 6 is kind of hanging uh, in front of the pocket, 2 ball is gone, let's see what happens here, alright, so he nudges that, he gets, ooh, 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 ooh. that is chalk, um, I think he wanted to pull back a lot, uh, that's why he dig in uh, into that cue ball, and um, because it didn't have any chalk it kind of like you know uh jumped to that cue ball it is it is a legal shot it is not it, you know it's it's not a foul or anything like that so um i don't get ball in hand um what do i do here oh i boo, that was a bad shot of me so as you guys saw in the um, in the speed up footage, my the, my opponent here definitely made sure that he had lots of chalk on his tip. <laughs> Very good. All right, so we got nine again routine, and there it goes. All right, so we got five three on the scoreboard. What do I do again? Pulling back, but I didn't hit it correctly, so I give him ball in hand because the cue ball found gravity in that corner pocket so he has the two and three basically routine oh he pulled up a little bit too much here but still a doable shot there it goes very good positional play now four to the six is kind of like an issue i can't really see what kind of uh, position he has oh okay so he has you know decent position Let's see, seven to the eight to the nine is not gonna be a big issue. Let's see what it does. A little bit of side spin just to counteract the natural um, path that the Cuba wants to take. Eight to the nine, basically routine. We do this a lot of times and nine is kind of like on the center table. Should not be a problem. There it goes, five, four. Now at this particular moment, I'm thinking like I should have win. So this guy is winning like three, um, four matches in a row. I, I should have been out already. I, this is what was going on in my mind right at right this particular moment. And then I see him do this and I was like, okay, finally, I get like another chance to, uh, to finish off this track. Um, so the one to the two basically have a lot of area where I can be over there for the two ball. The two to the four is just, you know, standard. That should not be a problem. The four to the six was a little bit of a problem. I kind of wanted to be a little bit further along so I can either have the corner. Bam! There it goes. I love that ball. That ball actually made me have a lot of confidence to clear out the entire frame. The 7-8 routine shot, so you basically have two ways of doing it. You can either stop the cue ball over there or pull it back over here, what I did. And I kind of love this particular shot because it gives me a little bit more angle. And that's that's 6. Okay, so that's 
score six to four for me um again he wasn't really up to um his normal play because i've been you know playing versus him for a long time and i know him for a long time he has definitely more potential than he showed 